Yeah, I love the power of this motor. Oh yeah. <laughs> we'll talk about those numbers in just a little bit, but I just wanted to do some flying and let you see what you can expect out of this thing. Six cell, 4000s in series, so that's a 12S arrangement on this plane. Hey guys, welcome to RC Video Reviews. I have some exciting news today. This plane is now equipped with a new motor coming out by T-Motor soon. This is the T-Motor AM780. It's designed for a 78 class airplane. And I'll be flying with a Scorpion Tribunus 130 amp 12 SESC. We already did the power and thrust testing. After the flight, I'll give you those results, but let's get this bad boy up in the air. I do wanna say thanks to T-Motor for sending this motor out for review. And all I can say is keep an eye on the channel. I'll give you information when, it, when I have it, and obviously keep an eye on the T-Motor shop website, and they will get these motors available in retail as soon as they're ready to move into production. So here we go with the flight of the T-Motor AM780. I love the way that motor sounds. It's got this buzz to it, really cool. Yeah, I love the power of this motor. Oh yeah. <laughs> we'll talk about those numbers in just a little bit, but I just wanted to do some flying and let you see what you can expect out of this thing. Definitely ample power, and I am flying with six cell, and I'm accelerating straight up. Six cell, 4000s in series, so that's a 12S arrangement on this plane. Yeah, all the power, man, for sure. Oh yeah. Let's do a pop top, and the reason I'm gonna do, I'm still teaching myself pop tops in different entries, but the reason this is an important maneuver is because it relies on momentum, and that's one thing we get in spades. Look at that. One thing we get in spades with this motor is momentum. So I'll do another one going the other way. Look at that, man. That is so cool on a big plane to be able it to is. do that. It is, it's beautiful, yeah, very nice. The motor sounds good, it feels good. I've got plenty of torque. It's just, it's able to do everything I know how to ask it to do. That's all I can really say. And it's got the looks, cause the motor looks really nice. The finish on the motor is very nice, the machining. Yeah, and that color scheme, it's got that gun metal and red. It just looks it's, good. Yeah, it's a good yeah. looking motor. And stuff's gotta good, look good, you know, it can't look ugly, it's gotta look good and this looks good. <laughs> And it performs, look at that. Yeah. <laughs> I love it. 43.4, getting down there a little bit on the voltage. So I'm gonna land it and we'll check the battery voltage after I get it on the ground. But all I can say guys, if you're into 3D and this was not a hyper aggressive 3D flight, obviously, but if you're into it, man, this motor delivers the power. Nice. Well, there you go. First flight of the T-Motor AM780. All I can say, it just does what you ask it to do. All the power you can expect. Um, I'll check the battery voltage a little bit right now after resting. It's looking like about 45 volts. So we sprung back up a little bit and I could probably get another minute or two out of it. And the flight, it looks like it was about a four and a half minute flight. So uh, pretty well done. And I got news for you, the power level, we're gonna talk about that in just a minute. Here is the watt meter test for the T-Motor AM780. Dave, whenever you're ready. Okay, it goes. All right, I saw 4,900 watts that time. Go ahead and kill the motor. Oh. 
Oh, oh, there you go. Okay, oh my. All right, now we're gonna do the thrust test. Dave, whenever you're ready. There you go, armed. Okay, 35.72 pounds of thrust on a 13.2 pound plane. That's right in there, three to one power to weight. Three to one power to weight ratio, 5,000 watts on the T-Motor AM780. Yeah, baby, T-Motor equals Mo-Mo power. All I can say is for its class, this thing makes monster power at 5,000 watts. And three to one power to weight. I know Dave, Dave is already working on reducing his power output on his plane because it's just ludicrous. You just don't need it. You're three to one power to exactly. weight. Exactly. You just don't need it. Exactly. And Try and by reducing your power output, you'll get a little bit more flight time on. There you the go. Deal. Changing changing power for a little bit of time. Just yeah. to, to, to swap out to see where it balances the power versus time. And you yep. can do that with a throttle curve. You can do that by setting your endpoints. Lots of different ways you smaller can do it. Prop. Yeah. Smaller prop. Smaller yeah. prop. Yep. You could do that. I Lots mean, of different ways to handle it if you want. And all I would say is that based on the power output of this airplane, I can easily see myself creating a power curve just to take it down a little bit because it's delivering more than I can use. So why not uh, get the flight time back out of it? I'd like to say thanks a lot to T-Motor for sending this motor out for review. I'll remind you guys, keep an eye out on the T-Motor shop website. I know that they're expecting to release these into production soon. And just as a little bit of a surprise announcement, they're also going to be releasing two additional classes that they don't already have for the large electric plane segment. It's very exciting. I am thrilled to hear about what they're doing, but until they do a press release, I'm not gonna give up the info on, on what they're actually releasing. All I can say is keep an eye on the channel and their website for more information. If you like this kind of content, make sure you smash that thumbs up button, subscribe and hit the notification bell so you know new videos hit the channel. That's all I've got for today. Take it easy. Hasta la vista, gentlemen. Later, folks. And go fly something.